Hello, my name is Alastair Dutton and I'm the chair of the Global Offshore Wind Task Force at GWEC. Offshore wind offers high value renewable electricity, but there is another benefit which is very attractive to governments. Offshore wind brings huge inward investment and economic benefit worth approximately $3 million per megawatt. And with that investment comes tens of thousands of jobs. The International Energy Agency's projection for 2050 of 2000 gigawatts worldwide is around $5 trillion of investment, which will create millions of high quality and well-paid jobs. These are direct jobs in companies in the offshore wind industry, which include environmental scientists, designers, engineers, and technicians, but also 30% of those jobs are the sort that any organization needs. For example, accountants, sales and marketing people, purchasing managers and administration staff. Many more are indirect jobs, which are suppliers to the industry that also supply other industries. For example, component parts, professional services and event organizers. Even more are induced jobs, which benefit from the wealth being distributed within the community. For example, taxi drivers, hoteliers, teachers, shopkeepers, and the like. These breathe life into coastal communities, but also, as we've seen in the UK and Germany, the supply chain for offshore wind is very deep, with companies employing people across the country. The just transition to renewable energy means that fishers, miners, oil and gas workers, and their supply chains will need to be retrained, and so bringing their considerable skills and experience to bear in offshore wind. So you can see that for governments, the economic benefits of embracing offshore wind are truly compelling. I remember my first job after university was in Teesside in the Northeast of England. The steel industry was closing down, the fishing industry was suffering badly, and there was real economic depression. Then in 2010, whilst I was at the Crown Estate, we did a supply chain tour of the UK, explaining how offshore wind would bring investment and jobs to ports and manufacturing centres. Many people were sceptical, but clearly some people were listening. Two years ago, I revisited the northeast of England, leading a delegation of World Bank client countries, and we saw the factories and thousands of jobs that offshore wind had created. It was truly humbling to see how offshore wind had made such transformation to these areas and learn of the pride in the people that work there. The three main turbine manufacturers in offshore wind have all made investments in the UK. Siemens Gamesa in Hull, Dastas in the Isle of Wight and GE soon to be in Teesside. All along the east coast of the UK from Fife in the north down through Blythe, Tyneside, Teesside, Hull, Grimsby, Great Yarmouth, Lowestoft, Harwich and Ramsgate, all these areas have been revitalised. Offshore wind has now grown such that it could be a career for life. We need lots of talented people. If you are looking for a truly worthwhile career, join us in offshore wind. It is a young and friendly industry, growing rapidly and happening in more and more countries around the world. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.